Hey, hello. This is Reflex Image. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if this is your first time coming, thanks for coming. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also turn on the notification icon to stay updated about my latest manipulation and tips. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to do a very very simple Christmas manipulation. As you all know, we're in this festive period. And a uh, lot of our clients will love to have a Christmas picture that they will love to post. And I'll be teaching you how to do just that because getting the accessories is kind of expensive. So that's why we actually tend to go into manipulation. We learn how to manipulate it. And I'll be showing you how I do this very, very simple and realistic manipulation. At the same time, kind of complex. So you might not go to the extreme end to add all these files I'm using right now. You can just pick two, maybe the Christmas tree and some boxes, then add it there. So it's not a must you do exactly what I do. I just want to actually display some of the products I have. And all these products for the Christmas will be available for sale for just 3000 Naira, which is 5 US dollars. So if you're interested in getting them, and there are about 60 of them, 60 pies in there, which you can actually use for your Christmas decoration, including the valleys and some PNG pies. Including the snowflakes that's actually on the picture, which makes it look so, so real. So with no further ado, let's jump into action. The first thing to is for to duplicate our background layer by clicking on Ctrl J. So after doing that, we have to remove our model from the backdrop, because we might not be needing this backdrop. I can actually use the backdrop, but I'm not using it in this particular video. So what we need to do now is just to go and pick our quick selection tool, click on select and we actually remove our model from the background. I know most of you guys will know how to do that. And if you don't know, there are tons of videos on my channel that will actually teach you that. But I've actually saved my selection because I know I'll be creating a video for you guys. So I'll just go to my select, under select, I'll click on load selection. Then from my channel, I'll change it to CHS and I'll click on OK. As you can see, I have my selection back right now. So you can use a polygonal laglet tool, your laglet tool, to actually make the same selection I do. So after I'm done with this, the next thing I'll just need to do right now is just to max it. Then you can see I have my model on a separate layer. But you won't know what you just did right now until you have to turn off the background layer. As you can see, we already have our, back, our model without the backdrop. So let's turn this one back right now and let's name this other layer. Let's name it our model layer. Model. Model layer. As you can see right now, so the next thing we need to do is to start bringing in the files we'll be using right now. So first thing first, anything we're bringing in right now has to be below our model layer. So I'm going to click the layer directly below it. Then I'll go to my file manager. Then I'll pick the first file, which is be the overlay I'll be using right now. So this is the overlay I'll be using right now. Just have to drag it down to my Photoshop. So I'll wait for it to load up. Then I'm going to expand it. I'll expand it. So until it fits the location I want it to be, I think I want it around this way. I want it around this way. So I'll just have to click my OK. After I'm done with that, you guys might be thinking, what am I going to do to this flow? But let's just leave that for now. We'll get back to that later on. So the next thing I'll be doing right now is to go back to my file manager again. This time around, I'll be picking up my tree, my Christmas tree. I'll be picking up my Christmas tree. Which one will I be using? Let me look for the one that will actually go with this. Okay, let me pick this right now. So you can see they are very, very easy to use. They are just like drag and, drag and drop picture. All you just need to do is to remove your model from the backdrop. Then you are good to go. So I'll just drag it down to my Photoshop. I'll wait for it to load. Then I'm going to adjust it to the area I want it to be. Then I'm going to expand it. I will expand the size. I will expand it. As you can see right now so i'll click on my ok next thing i'll be doing i'll bring in another box again which i'll be putting at the front of this place so i'll still go back to my file manager again so i'll screw up i'm going to pick this box this is the one i want to be making use of this gift box so i'll drag it and i'll still adjust the size also again and i'll place it here you can see right now, I'm going to place it around this way. I'll click on my OK. 
After that, I'll still go back to my fire manager again. As you can see, we are just bringing it in and we are placing it. There's nothing so special about this right now. Just simple drag and drop feature. There won't be much stress. Very, very easy and straightforward to use. Especially if you are shooting on a white background and you actually want to use this, you just have to remove your media from the background. Then change it to this Christmas backdrop over here. Then you start bringing in your PNG file. As easy as that. So I'll still go back to my file manager again. So I'll be bringing in another box right now. I'll be bringing in this one. So I'll just drag it down to my Photoshop again. So I'll adjust it to the area I want it to be. I want it to be around this way. So once I'm done with the dragging, I can just adjust to it too. I'll still click on my OK. As you can see right now. I'll still go back to the file manager again, bring in another file again. Bring in another file again. Let me see which file I will bring in. Okay, let me bring this back. I'll just drag it. As you can see, everything is related to Christmas. So you can just design it the way you see fit. You don't have to use the exact same design that you use. You can use a totally different thing yourself. Just to make it more enticing. So I'll drag this and I'll still drop it here also again. Click on my enter key. So I'll be bringing in another file again. Back to my file manager. So I'll scroll, I'll scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, I'll be using this. Drag it down to my Photoshop, as you can see. All these are just drag and drop pictures. So this, I'll reduce the size. Okay, it's going to be around this way, but the issue I'll be facing right now wants to be above my model's leg. So I'll click on OK, and then I'm going to drag it above it, as you can see right now. But if the size is a little bit too big, I can just reduce the size again. Ctrl C, then I'll reduce the size till I save it. But if you are paying closer attention, you see there's a sharp line over here. So it's looking as if we brought it in, which is what I don't like. So I'm going to create a max on what I just brought in right now. Create a max on it. I'll pick my gradient tool, make sure the color is on black. Make sure the color is on black. Then I'm going to screw over it this way to clean that sharp edges up. So that it will, it will look real, it will look as if we actually brought it in. So that being said right now, let's bring in our last file, which is our snowman as you can see we have to make it more realistic as possible to make it look more christmas uh thing so back to our file manager right now so i'll just have to click look for okay this is snowman over here and just drag it down to my photoshop so wait for it to load up then i'll bring it to whatever location i want it to be so it wants to be around this way so you can see right now i'll click on my ok so we actually done something nice but the issue we are still facing right now is the color here we have to make it white again but that's not an issue let's just click on our background layer also click on it then i'm going to create an empty new layer on it create an empty new layer on it then we're going to pick our gradient make sure our color is on white so we are going to drag from down drag up as you can see right now everything is looking all that cool and our picture is good to go all you just need to do now is just to color grade, export your picture, then you call it a day. But I want to make it more advanced, so I'll be adding some snowflakes to it. It's still also a PNG file, which is also available for sale right now. It's part of the Christmas collection. Just have to go to my file manager. Then I'm going to pick my snow, drag it down to Photoshop. Then adjust it, adjust it. You've been wondering right now what they are just bringing that is not reflecting the issue is that it's directly below everything we just created which is this reflects christmas night over here so let's click on ok first then from here let's drag it to the uppermost layer and boom automatically it's going to apply on our picture for it but we see patient one issue right now is currently covering the face which we don't like so we're going to create a max on it pick our brush make sure it's on black 100% black and make sure the opacity is on 100 so let me increase the brush size let me increase the brush size then i'm going to clean over the face so that it's going to be showing the face very well and that's all very very simple and realistic now so let's check the before and after so here is our before and here is our after before and after 
with just simple clicks in less than 10 minutes we actually created a nice christmas backdrop we manipulated it and look more real than ever so you can actually try that out on your own so i'll be dropping those three of my png files which i actually use here for free the rest are available for sale in my store so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and also share with your friends there might be someone out there who is definitely in need of this video right now so see you guys in my next tutorial my love so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabrics my color lookup my presets so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here is my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my preset file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice 